driver's seat of a 2014 Audi TT. Now, I've picked this car up today for a very specific reason. I wanted to talk about a budget sports car that you can buy. These are ridiculously cheap, like some of the first ones that came out, like an 07 plate, say, are sub £5,000 these days. So today, I've picked this one up from Haven Car Company. I want to find out why. What do you get for your money? What do you get in this package, in this era of TT? What do you get for your money? So, onward, because we're going to take this car to a beach today. As you can see, we're nearly there. So onwards to the beach. good look online the other day and I decided that these were an absolute bargain sports car for anybody to buy. First generation of TT, the Mark 1, I actually owned one myself, a 225 back way way back when I was 21. Absolutely love that thing, thought it was the fastest thing in the world and I always aspired to have a Mark 2 so the Mark 2 shape is what I'm driving today and this is the 2014 model and this is a lovely version with the red and the black and the wheels and the little spoiler out the back it complements itself incredibly well being an OG TT owner though the Mark 1 was just awesome in my opinion I loved its swooping designs its bubble shape there's just something about it and the way it drove the quattro system was phenomenal and I had the six speed manual I loved it I loved that little car it was such a chuckable fast little car to have at your start your 20s it was such a good experience for me to have that car at the time but jumping in this today harps back to that day of me enjoying that car when I had it so these retain the quattro system but obviously it's a lot better in these models but this one has the TFSI 2 litre turbocharged engine that you would find in the Golf GTI, but it's baited to a Quattro system. And a little car like this is incredibly chuckable, incredibly responsive as well. The turn in from the front of these cars is on par with some of the best sports cars you can buy on the market. And the fact that you can buy this package, a 2 litre turbocharged Quattro Audi TT for next to nothing these days, let's say, you get in one for five to six thousand pounds. That's a hilarious amount of money to be paying for something that gives you this much. You have the swooping designs and the awesome looks from outside. You have the drivability, the four wheel drive turbocharged monster. If you're willing to modify it, she embarked down quite a beautiful road, if I'm quite honest. The houses down here. That one's not very nice. But some of the houses around here are incredibly beautiful. Shout out Halen Island. Yeah, that's, that's a nice one. Renault Clio on the driveway though. And that's the thing. Think about it. Renault Clio, three, 400 quid, whatever they are. For 5,000 pounds, you could have one of these lovely TT sat outside your house. That does mean if you've bought a beautiful house and you need a nice car to go outside, here it is. Here's the lovely car to go outside. Ooh, you've got a little Audi sports car. That's very good. Cost me five thousand pounds. Yes, don't get me wrong. This one isn't five thousand pounds. This is a lovely version. But you can get these cheap, like cheap, cheap. Made it to the seaside. It's a little bit windy, but let's have a quick look around this Audi TT. Now, love the red, the red and black combo go together very very nicely. Coming down to the front bumper, this being an S line and all that sort of stuff, the girth and the splitters and stuff down here. Really, really cool with sort of honeycomb mesh behind this side uh, and then come following round to this side. Obviously the RS's get the honeycomb mesh in the middle. Headlights are really cool on these as well with the indicators down here. Coming down these um, wheels with the diamond cut faces, bit of a matte black finish inside as well, really cool. Black mirrors on this one as well with the inside S-line printed in the seats. Come around, this one actually has black spoiler on the back as well, which I quite like the look of. Again, black and red really suits the TT shape. Coming around to the back as well, this actually has the twin exhaust system as well with the gloss black honeycomb mesh at the back. It's got some girth to it. It's really nice, good looking car, this. It's just a shame about how windy it is right now. Just 
bit of a shame, but we've made it to the seaside. I mean, look at this, Halion Island, shout out. It's beautiful, Isle of Wight over there. That's where I'm from, if no one knew. Nice and windy though, but let's get back in the car. Go and enjoy a bit more of this and a couple more roads as well. That's the real point of this video. I think going for a drive in this and cruising around, seeing some nice houses, all that sort of good stuff. You see the cars parked on the driveway and you think, why haven't you got anything a bit nicer? Why haven't you got a little sports car? And your MX-5s and stuff are cool. I think the Audi badge and the idea of having a TT is quite good. There's a Boxster there, good rival, very good rival. Porsche Boxster, like an 08 plate one. Same sort of ballpark price. I just think you have the reliability of the Audi badge as well. It's incredibly reliable, these cars. And if you're not into, you know, and you're watching this video, you're not into modifying and stuff, this is a package car. Perfect, perfect for everyday use. You know, for two people, don't get me wrong, you can't really get people in the back of these, or you don't really want to. I attempted to get a six foot five person in the back of my old TT and it didn't go very well. It happened, I was just like literally, so close to the steering wheel, I couldn't drive. The great thing about these TTs is you can sort of get into one at any price. Say, you know, I've banged on about a five grand one. You can get into one for seven. You can get into a nicer one at 10. Or if you're willing to spend 15, you can get into a beautiful one like this. You can jump in these at any sort of price point because they're getting a little bit old, this shape. Yes, they brought the new shape out and it's incredibly expensive if you do want one of them. It's just nice to know that these cars, these sports cars with turbocharged engines, with quattro all wheel drive, are so cheap these days. And if you're willing to really delve into the market and get a good one, I think mileage dependency, yes, I understand that everybody's mileage discrepancies are very different. I don't really mind about mileage if it's, you know, respectable mileage. Audi stuff is very good for mileage based servicing and parts and stuff, but just go and drive something. Go and drive one of them and see how you feel. If it bangs and squeaks and stuff, you know it's not the car for you. It is a bit of a cruiser, this as well. I did think that although it's a great B road fun car, I wanted to take it out of its element and just enjoy it as, you know, you guys may enjoy it. You may not be beating a B road down every day. You might come to the seaside one day and enjoy it that way. And I think I've enjoyed myself as much as I would have. Yes, I'll go and enjoy myself down a B road at some point, but it's nice to know that this car is just, it's just a bit of everything, this car. It's got a good comfort level. It's got a chuckability level. It's got a modifiability level. Modifiability? Yeah, why not? It has potential to be incredibly fast and incredibly nimble. Not that they're not from the factory, but if you are buying one of these, to put a whacking great turbo on it, to put an exhaust system on it, you'll see so much gain and there's so much possibility out there. There's loads of companies that modify and sell parts for these cars. There's so much you can do and buy with this chassis. And that two litre turbocharged engine up front, obviously it's you know same as the Golf GTI and the S3 and all that. There's so many parts for them. So it makes it very achievable to modify this thing. Just like my AMG video about all cars having AMG badges on it. This isn't, you know, a TTS. It isn't the RS, but it's still got the S line. So it's got a better kit on it. And yes, you're not paying the premium for an S. And you're not paying the premium and the exclusivity of an RS, but you still get the looks, you get the little spoiler out the back, you get the girthier front bumper, you get the cool wheels as well. It means that you can have a cool looking car that is quick. These are relatively fast what they are, but if they're not fast enough for you, they're so easy to obtain more power from. It just means anybody can jump into a two-seater with a turbocharger on it with four-wheel drive and enjoy themselves at any price point, and I love that. And that's why I wanted to do this video. It's showing the budget side. The want for power is there. Yes, I would do an induction kit and an exhaust system and a remap and everything if this was my car. If you were willing to buy one of these and not really want to put any money into it, it's a perfect car for you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, get in the comment section and tell me your thoughts on the Audi TT. Would you buy a cheap one? Would you buy an expensive one? Would you opt for certain things on your TT? Do you own a TT? Let me know below because I want to delve a bit more into these cars because I think these are getting so cheap, just like the Mark 1s. They're so cheap now that anybody can afford to buy one. So it means that a lot more people can have them in their lives. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, oh, oh.